Hi guys, in this video I will show you how you can improve your Instagram reels and get more views out of your edits and even more followers, I will share with you 6 tips that really work for me and for every car video editor on Instagram. To make your video get more views, you should grab an attention in 3 seconds. You can make some 3D texts using Element 3D, or add some effects like lightnings or explosions in a first 3 seconds. Let me show really quickly how to add effects easy in your first 3 seconds. I will add a lightning and tornado effect. First we should track camera, click on track motion, then move tracker point to a well contrasted spot and make tracker a bit bigger for a better and deep analyzing. For a better results, click on options and make sure RGB is selected. Also toggle on adapt feature on every frame and click on OK. Now click on analyze forward and wait until it's done. Once analyzing is done, create new null object. Then click on edit target and make sure null is selected then click on OK. Now click on apply and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y. Once we have a track null, we can bring a lightning footage here. Check this video's description to download this lightning for free. Scale and position it on your wish, I will flip lightning vertical and then link it to a null. Let's check it. I think it's not enough, I will add a tornado too. Place it where you want and then link to a null and enable 3D on it in case you will need to change X, Y and Zs. I think it's enough for effects. Tip number 2, locked on stabilization. Always stabilize your footage even when you shoot using a gimbal. Stabilizing the video in the center is the most thing you should do when editing a car video. Let me show you how to stabilize your footage in the center. I will solo my video to see it without any effects, then go to tracker and click on stabilize motion. Once this tracker point pops out we should move it to the spot we want to lock on. For example I want to lock on the center of this car and I think the mirror is perfect I can track on. Make track point bigger for a better results. Now click on options and make sure RGB is selected, also toggle on adapt feature on every frame and then click on OK. Now click on analyze forward and wait until it's done. Once analyzing is finished, click on edit target and hit OK. Then click on apply and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y and then hit OK. Video is now stabilized in the center and it looks way better. But, as you mentioned we have that black edge issue, to fix it we can scale the video until it's gone or use an effect motion tile. Toggle on mirror edges and then set output height and width to 200. One more important thing you should do to center your car perfectly is to toggle on proportional grid and center your car properly. Once it's centered you can toggle off proportional grid. Everything looks cool to me so let's jump to tip number 3, use motion blur on your videos. To make your edits much more smoother, use RSMB Pro or CC Force Motion Blur. RSMB is paid and if you don't have it don't worry, once AM Film hits 10,000 subscribes I will gift RSMB to all of you. Simply write me on Instagram once we hit 10,000 subs. Let me show you how to apply motion blur on all layers. Create new adjustment layer. Add RSMB Pro on it and then enable motion blur on adjustment layer to add more blurriness. Now under the RSMB, set use GPU to on and change blur amount to about 0.8. In case you want to use CC Force Motion Blur, simply apply it on adjustment layer and you are done. Tip number 4, Sound Effects. In this video I have used lightning and tornado footages so why not to add sound effects. Once you have added a sound effect, press L button twice to open a waveform. Scroll to the moment where lightning starts from and move your sound effect right there to sync lightning and a sound. Let's check it. Now check with no sound effect. Sound effects make your edits 10 times better. Tip number 5, shake effects. Shake effects are important and have a game changer role in edits, always add a shake effects on a beat drops of a song to make videos look better. I have made some shake effect tutorials, you can check them on AM Film, also I have created 16 shake presets that you can check in this video's description. Check how it looks like with shake effect. Tip number 6, color correction. You will agree if I say that color correction is the most important in editing and you need to color correct your footages every time you edit your videos. I wouldn't recommend you to save your color corrections as a preset and use them on other clips, also I wouldn't recommend you to use LUTs that others sell or even give away. What I really would recommend you is, check color correction tutorials and learn how it is done to understand it. You can check my color correction tutorial or other tutorials on YouTube. Then go to AE and practice as much as you can. That's the only way you can learn color correction. Let me show you before and after color correcting my footage. 
This was 6 main tips you should do to make smooth edits and remember, on Instagram Reels first 3 seconds are important and try to make these 3 seconds as interesting as possible to grab an attention of people who will watch it. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.